Hello, it's Sarah. All right, today I wanted to tell you guys about, I figured it out. I've been canvas crazy for the past couple days. The last videos, well, I don't think it was the last one, but I had one canvas confusion and I, I figured it out. Um, I found this video by Jill Foster. She, she's Jillian Avery 82 is her YouTube channel, but she was doing, um, I think it was a, a Faber-Castell video. So I had the big brushes. I had this set. I mean, it's not all the colors, but I'm just raising my tripod. Um, and I hadn't really used them. I think I said that in my video. Um, they were getting dusty. And then I got all these gelatos. I had just ordered these and I hadn't had a chance to play with them. But her video was mixed media canvas with gelato. So I watched that, of course, because I wanted to see how to use these. And I know a lot of people love their gelatos. And I'm loving them-ish. We'll see. Um, so this is her total tutorial. I just followed her tutorial um, as best I could with uh, the supplies that I had. I actually made this one first. But my son was backwards. See how like these strips are on top and they're supposed to be under the sun. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I put a different sentiment too. But I was pretty happy with the collage behind it. Now, she also tells you how to stamp with the big brush pens to make the background. You can't really see a ton of that. I mean, this green pattern under here is done with the big brush pens, the dark green, and then this is a light green, couple light green gelatos on top. And then there's a dark blue pattern under there that I stamped with the big brush. And then there's other stamping and all that stuff. But anyway, I figured out that what I, the process that I am going to use is I put, um, paper down, Mod Podge your paper on, uh, put your patterns underneath, stamp, add paper if you want to, whatever it is, and then gesso over it. So you kind of tone all that stuff down with gesso. Then you have kind of, then you can add color with sprays or gelatos. That's what I did. So after everything's on there, all your texture and you build all that up, you put, um, gesso and then you put your color on and then you build another layer so that's when we did the sun and um, a little extra stamping a couple a couple more pieces of like say washi tape or something but anyway um, I figured it out so I, I went a little crazy so let's see I want to show you okay first of all this one I just found this, this is actually one of those canvas uh, scrapbooks that you get at Michael's. It's made of canvas, like they're, it's chipboard and canvas. So I was just playing with the gelatos and I just went from light to dark up the canvas. I gessoed it first, went from light to dark up it and just did a little stamping. I did a little, um, I mixed some of the pink gelato. I like mushed it up a little bit and mixed it in with some, um, texture paste and put a few butterflies on the background and then I just gessoed these polka dots and put some laces. Actually, I got these laces, I think, from Kim in um, my swap. She uh, sent extra stuff. But anyway, um, and did my, I hadn't done this little uh, Prima doll stamp. So I, I made a little hanging for that. So that's kind of that. But then, what am I getting at? Oh, remember I had done her name is Riley and I did another canvas which I'm going to go get that real quick and this one I had only put one sheet of paper on the back and I did do some stamping and stuff with it too um, and, and remember we liked it I did like it and it, it turned out pretty good I liked it whatever but this one I really am liking because this was done with the technique of like layering all the stamping and the different um, techniques that I learned from pretty much from Jill Foster because I used my gelatos and my big brush pens and just oh actually there's some um, rub-ons on here and 
but you rub some of the gelatos off too with like a wet baby wipe and then I just fussy cut her out and paper pieced her and everything put the butterflies um, but I, I like this one this one's more canvassy to me like this is more mixed media I don't know they're both mixed media but then here's another one of those um, canvas scrapbooks the little mini books that you can get and this time instead of fussy cutting out this stamp I just stamped it right onto the canvas with um, stays on and then I ended up going over a lot of it with a marker or a pen I had and stuff I mean I don't love this one but I was playing around to see how it would be to just stamp your main image on top I think I do like the layering of like cutting it out and putting it on better than just stamping it right on so I, I might even um, fussy cut one out and just glue it on top but this is the similar um, background I just went red yellow pink green purple orange blue like the song goes and put all the colors around it and um, just made a little hanging and then what else did I do well these are actually for my swap at art and sassy but these worked up so cute and so fast so they're only they're supposed to be four by four canvases so I did these I'm gonna do more but this was just using the same basic process a couple different little backgrounds and putting my little guys on there I just wanted to show them briefly because they're kind of like a secret still but anyway I think I figured it out I'm gonna keep playing and I definitely feel like um, I need to go softer there's one more I could show you I have time because like this one it's I mean, I'm not thrilled because I think I just, it gets muddy after I keep putting too much stuff on. Like, I have to stop at some point instead of, like, just keep going. Like, my rub-on started getting caught on things and getting sticky, and you have to let things dry in between. Um, but I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep trying and figure it out. I want to, the next thing I want to do is just collage with paper so put a bunch of different papers in the background and use that as my background and see what happened maybe do some stamping on top of it as my main um thing so anyway um that was just an update on my canvas <laughs> uh my canvas adventure i guess i'll call it um so thanks for watching everybody bye bye